Welcome to Mallet Buildings. First of all, I would like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you. We've been in business for 20 years, since 1999, with over 15,000 buildings on the ground. We're a licensed general and residential contractor. We're the only post frame builder that has gone through six hurricanes. Why? Because we've been around that long. We have a A plus rating with the BBB. Mallet Buildings believes in customer service to the point that the owner puts his personal phone number on every contract. So you will have access to call the owner in the event there's an issue during the process of building your building. We have a full-time customer service representative ready to serve you when you make your call. We manufacture our own trusses and that enables us to build a quality building because to build an all-treated building, you would have to have your own plant. We have that. Once again, thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Let's continue. This is a picture of the truss plant. To the left, you'll see the table where the trusses are actually plated and rolled twice for quality. To the right is the new computerized saw that was just installed this year. We've been operating a truss plant in excess of 13 years, and now we've added a new saw, top of the line, does a great job, ensures our quality. We have three farming crews running, typically seven days a week. As you'll notice, we put the dirt into the building after the building is built. Typically, what you're probably used to seeing is they pour the slab first, then they build a the frame. We do it completely opposite of what typical construction is. We have the ability to deliver. We have two 18-wheelers to haul our big loads, and we have multiple small trucks with goosenecks to bring in small loads depending on the condition of the delivery. This is the beginning. If you'll notice, the posts are spaced 10 feet apart, the wall girts are two foot apart, and the bottom grade board covered with skirt board is on the bottom rung. But this is the beginning of the construction process. Here is a picture of the post protector down on the post and you'll see the black skirt board cover. The purpose of this is to keep concrete from coming in contact with the wood, whether it be the 2x6 grade board or the post. The top of that 2x6 where the skirt board is, is going to be the top of your form. When you use post protectors and skirt board covers and all ground treated lumber, you have a lifetime warranty against termites, rust, rot, and fungal decay. Unlike steel buildings who cannot give you that. Here's a picture that shows you the top plate. It is a 2x12. Up in the corner you'll notice that, that it's sandwiched up against the, the post and the truss sit on top of that. We use all number one kill dried lumber in a mallet building. We're the only company, to my knowledge, that does that. Once again, this is another picture that shows you the wall girts are two foot apart, all treated, number one yellow pine, lifetime warning against termites, fungal decay, and rust. We also see where we've installed windows. We also do that. Here's another picture that shows all treated, number one dry killed lumber, a lifetime warning against termites, fungal decay, and rust. The trusses in this particular picture are scissor trusses. We do a standard 4 on 12 on all our buildings. We can adjust that to 5 on 12, 6 on 12, depending what the customer's needs are. Our trusses are placed five feet apart, and our cards and our trusses are 100% two by sixes throughout. We're the only company that I'm aware of that does that, using 100% two by sixes in a pre-engineered truss. This is a picture that explains to you, if you notice up at the top, the purlins are two by sixes, spaced two feet apart, laid flat. All, once again, number one, dry kill lumber. We do business with central states. They've been in business for almost 30 years. They operate in 12 states. They're our partner in bringing our bodily metal to you, the customer. We come in 29 and 26 gauge metal. We also offer grand beam metal, which is more for residential use. Once the building is constructed, the next phase is to farm it. After it's farmed, we put a moisture barrier, which is the black bisqueen. And then you'll notice the cables that run from post to post. Those are the retention cable system, and the purpose of that is uplift. So what we've done is we've taken the dead weight of the concrete, transferred it to the bottom of the building, and with the cables tied to the sides of the building, it now holds the building down in the event of uplift, which tornadoes do. They try to hover up on top of a building, and try to pull things up. We've never lost a building since I've been in business. Okay, here we have a picture of the concrete. You will be required to be there. You will be required to pick the finish Either you or your representative will tell the concrete finisher exactly what finish you want. 
He will not leave until you sign off on it. Remember, when you sign off on concrete, it is very hard for us to come back and fix it. That's why we require you to be there and we require the finisher not to leave until you have signed off that you are 100% satisfied. You'll also notice this particular customer put his plumbing in. The plumbing was done right after the farming or getting it to grade, at which time his plumber put that in, which you can too, but remember, the plumber's required to put it back to grade. All mallet buildings come with ramps. They'll be the width of your roll-up door out two feet. We're off an array of doors, in different styles, double doors, single doors, doors with windows. We've now gone to a fiberglass door with a fiberglass frame. And the purpose of that was over the years, we found that these particular doors that we use with wood frames, they come with a primer coat and they have to be painted. And if you don't paint them, they rot out. And a lot of customers fail to do that. So we've upgraded our doors now to the fiberglass door. Only company that I know that's using the fiberglass door. It's a more expensive door, but that's why we use it. We know it's gonna be there for that five-year warranty program we've put together and are much, much easier to install. We use insulation. We use the bubble insulation. You can use that on your roof, your walls. It's a radiant barrier. It does a great job. Been using it for years. In a mallet building, it comes standard with roof insulation. We use windows. These are all white, but they come in bronze also. Uh, we have an array of sizes from a three by three all the way to three by sixes. We can special order windows for you, and those can be installed in your building. Post protectors, greatest product I've seen. It is a product that was made for this part of the country. Uh, it keeps the moisture from getting to the post, as well as the main thing, the concrete. Also, the microorganisms in the dirt attack the wood. Post Protector protects you from that, as well as the concrete, and keeps moisture from, from being by the post. It is also ribbed for uplift protection. It is a 500-year product, highly recommended. It is standard in all mallet buildings. We offer cupolas, an array of sizes and colors. We offer the vented closure. It fits under the ridge cap. In the old days, we used to put vents on top, but those created a problem with birds, insects, as well as something the wind could pull off the roof. So we went to this, which basically means your whole ridge cap becomes vented. So instead of putting two ridge caps, it might be 16 feet, and let's say it's a 30 by 50, you would have 100 feet of vent under the ridge cap, removing the heat from your building. Skirtboard covers, once again, works hand in hand with the post protector, as you can see. It creates a moisture barrier on the outside of the building because the metal is going to go up against it. And on the inside, it keeps the concrete from touching the wood as well as keeping it not in coming contact with the dirt. Very good product, standard on a mallet building. Roll-up doors, they come in an array of colors. Remember, the roll-up doors are painted by a different manufacturer. So you're going to see a slight difference in the color variation between the metal on the building and the roll-up door. It's close, I just want to make you aware of that. But we offer insulated roll-up doors, we offer different sizes, uh, whatever you need may be concerning a roll-up door. We can do frame-outs, where they framed and trimmed and you can install your own roll-up door if you choose. Gutters come standard on mallet buildings. They really enhance the beauty of your building. They also keep water from falling straight down to the side of the wall, which creates problems. We uh, have our own gutter crew and we really enjoy putting gutters on our buildings because it really makes a difference in a building. This, pic this picture reflects wings. If you notice, there's three pictures, three different types of wings. You can get them different lengths, different widths, but this is a wing. This is a gable extension. You can do that, a gable extension on both ends of your main frame, or you can put it on one side of your frame, your choice. You can also put a gable extension and a wing on a building. We offer residential buildings, I mentioned earlier about Grand Beam, that it's very attractive if you're doing a residential project. But this is just an example of some of the things you can do with post-frame construction. We do commercial buildings. Outdoor kitchens are another big hot item that we see ourselves building a lot for people around the state. Why wood versus steel? Well, the reason why we use all treated lumber is it has a lifetime warning against termites and fungal decay, rot, and rust. These pictures reflect galvanized nails along with galvanized metal and some red iron. Notice the deterioration that's occurring. And in Louisiana, because of the high moisture activity and some salt on air, depending how close to the Gulf you are, it becomes a problem. When you buy a mallet building all treated, you'll never have to worry about rust. These are termites. If you notice up in the left-hand side, 
we have one of the most heavily infested areas for the Formosan termite, which flies. If you notice in the top picture to your right, up in the ceiling, look where the termites have attacked the ceiling. That's why all the buildings are 100% treated, including the trusses. Some people say, well, I don't need that on my ceiling. This is a prime example of why. Look at that picture. Look at the deterioration. And we have one of the heaviest invested areas in the, in the country, right here where we sit. Rotten fungal decay. But on all treated mallet building, you won't have to worry about this. If for some reason you spring a leak on your roof, or let's say the wind comes and pulls some sheets off, it's not going to hurt your building. The mallet building is the building designed for this part of the country so that you do not have these type of issues. If you notice in this picture, that's where the post protector comes in. One picture shows activity with, with dirt to the right, to the left, looks like that was concrete. And if you notice, that's where the issues are occurring. That's why the post protector is needed. It stops this from happening. Once again, if you look at the pictures, the three pictures with the X shows what happens when concrete, dirt microorganisms hit this wood. If you look at the last picture, the post protector keeps all that from not occurring. This product has a 449 year lifespan, eliminates solderwood and concrete contact. It's built green, it keeps any, any leaching or anything of chemicals coming out of the post. It's framing friendly because you can, you can frame whatever you're doing around it. It's less expensive than concrete pier and steel bracket method. It offers uplift protection. It has a vertical venting system which allows the post to breathe. Great product, standard on a mallet building. I'll tell you again, been doing this for 20 years. When that came out, it changed the whole complexion of what we do here. Once again, there's a full picture of the post protector. It encapsulates the post, so the bottom top, there's a weep hole. If any moisture does get in their water, it's going to weep out down into the ground. New to our operation is Mallet Buildings has now quit using CCA post. Our 2x6s, 2x4s, all of our other lumber that was presently used the last 10, 15 years has been using CCA treated wood post. The problem that's occurred is the EPA and the lumber have agreed to discontinue the CCA treated wood in most residential constructions. Why? There's arsenic in those posts. We now are the only people shipping in MCA treated six by sixes. You cannot bomb in a lumber yard, you cannot bomb nowhere. They are specifically made for us because of the volume of treated materials we buy. We're able to bring in a 100% eco-friendly building. If you notice, it's copper azole. That is what we're using now, MCA. If you read the top line, the following chemical wood preserves are registered for treatment of lumber to be used in the residential lumber and timber market. Copper azole is what we are now using 100% on all our buildings. This just gives another definition of it. This is the certificate of compliance where the people that we buy our wood, our MCA, where they're basically got a certificate and they're using this product. Once again, this is what this is. This is a document that shows that we are presently buying from a company that's certified to use only MCA. Once again, another certificate. I want to make you rest assured that the product we're using can be used 100% residential use. You must understand that all my competitors are using CCA wooded posts. They do not have access to this wood. That's another reason why the mallet building being treated and all the things that go with make it the best product in the world. Nobody else offers that. It has a five-year warranty on workmanship. It's, it's just the best building. We have a referral program. Uh, if you send someone here and they buy a mallet building, we're going to send you a check for $200. If you come here and buy a building and you let us put it up for you and let us use you as a referral source, which means if I call and say, look, i got two guys that want to go to your house and look at your building. If they buy, I'm going to give you $200 a piece. So let's look at this. I'm sitting home on Saturday and Sunday. Mallet Buildings calls you. Hey, I got three guys. They want to visit this weekend. Now you're already home, relaxing, whatever. Guy drives up, you show him your building. He buys the building. If all three buy, that's $600 times four weeks in a month is $2,400 a month times 12 months. We're looking at you bringing in about $30,000. You can pay for your building with this program. And I know you're going to be proud to show your building. It's a great way for us to partner for a long, long time and make it profitable to you. And it's a great way for us to show our appreciation that you bought a building from us. Once again, great program. Hope you join. And remember, 
If you don't buy a building right now and you still send someone and he buys a building, we're still going to pay you $200. So get enrolled, get involved in this program. Let's make some money together. This is the quality comparison sheet. I want to go over a few things that are really paramount in this particular deal. Number one, five-year workmanship, longest warranty in the business. Nobody else offers that. Why can we offer a five-year workmanship? Because of the products we use in the building. That's why. Number two, all ground treated number one pine with a lifetime warranty against termites, rust, rot, and fungal decay, and now 100% eco-friendly. You go across, when you get to that number three building, once again, it has one year workmanship and it's using yellow southern pine except for the post and the grade board. This is what my competitors sell. They will try to tell you that they build a number one building or even a number two. They do not. This is what they build. We sell them because our competitors sell them, but we believe that that is a building that was built for the north and we believe that the Mallet building was built for the south because of the termites and because of the moisture issues that occur in Louisiana. It's, it's, it is the building. I, I've, I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm telling you, nothing compares to a mallet building. Let's continue on. All number one grade lumber. I know of any, but no other company doing that. 130 mile an hour wind rating. Zach screws. And if you go across, every time I go across, look at that number three building. It doesn't have all these things. That's why the mallet building costs more. But let's face it. Just because it costs more doesn't mean it's more expensive because you're gonna have trouble down the road. For instance, Zach screws. Zach screws have a cap over the rubber which keep the ultraviolet rays from destroying it. That number three building, if you don't put Zach screws in five to seven years, if not sooner, you're gonna start having problems because that rubber washer is gonna be deteriorated from the sunlight. You're gonna start having leaks. And then if you're using that white wood, the leaking water is going to fall on your truss and your purlins, and they're going to rot out. Save yourself that trouble. All mallet buildings come with gutters. All mallet buildings come with ridge vents. All mallet buildings are 100% two by six trusses. Also, roof insulation included in the price. Okay, all mallet buildings are screwed, not nailed. Big deal. Nails have a tendency to pull out or, or retract. Screws don't. We have ramps on all the mallet buildings, ramps on the number two buildings. But get down to your last, your last one. We use all double insulated windows on all the buildings except the number three building. Why? Because this is what my competitors offer, okay? Apples to apples, we will price match them. It has to be apples to apples. The problem you have in matching is apples to apples. Almost all of them are not licensed, and we are licensed. They're not gonna use all ground treated lumber. They're gonna use white wood. You're gonna have issues with rot and fungal decay, termites possibly. So we alleviate that. They don't use Zach screws. It's a product that wasn't built for the, for the South. It was built for the North. 20 years ago when I came, got in the business, I saw the product up in the Northern States. And when I started, I, I also did that. But as time went, I saw the issues and the problems with a, with a number three or economy building. It's just not built for the long term in this part of the country. Products inside this building cannot withstand the elements. That's a big deal. And you know, if, if it is $3,000 more, when you start talking about a building lasting with no problems, 50 years or longer, versus a pro building that's gonna give you problems possibly in seven to 10 years, it's pretty cheap. Because if we divide 50 into 2,000, that comes up to $40 a year. Isn't it worth $40 a year to get the best, the best product, the best warranty? I think it is. And I highly recommend you consider that because I want you to have a building with no problems. Once again, thank you for coming. We really do appreciate you giving us an opportunity to serve you. After 20 years in business, I think that we've proven that we're gonna be here for the long haul. It's not like buying from someone who might be gone in two or three years or out of state or a lot of other issues. The other thing is, remember, we're, we're state licensed contractors. Most people in this business are not. Is that important? I think it is. Would you want to go let a doctor operate on you who hadn't been tested and licensed? I think not. And that's what you run across when you hire someone who's not a state licensed contractor. He's been tested, he met all the requirements, 
whether it be insurance, whether it be workers' comp, a lot of issues covered when you hire a state licensed contract. Once again, thank you so much for coming. Hope to see you in a mallet building very, very soon.